Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Apollo Justice, the Ace Attorney Collection. So, um, I, I've been reading your comments. I do read all of your comments on these Ace Attorney videos. And, um, a lot of you guys were actually telling me that I should do a special episode next, because the special episode is chronological, and, um, after the second one, and that wouldn't really make much sense to do it as the last one. So anyways, let's do a special episode here. My name is Phoenix Wright, head of the Wright Anything Agency and a lawyer. Although, I was doing something else entirely for a while there. As for why I decided to formally get back into lawyering, let's just say there's unfinished business to take care of. Anyway, I thought I'd reminisce about my first case back on the job, and what a case it was. It happened only a few months after Athena joined our office. Turnabout Reclaimed. This is a special episode, so can you guys explain to me in the comments um, what this is exactly? This is a special episode. Um, uh, why is this not a main case, though? Is it like a deleted case? What the? Captain Marla! He made it just in time! We be pirates, we love to sail the seven seas Just a bunch of scallywags who are as free as free can be We swim through storms and waves all because you see Grand treasure and adventures waiting just for me Oh, it's a show. Okay, I was about to say. I was. I was like. I was. I was getting seriously weirded out there. Like I don't know what that was about. It was a show. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's um. Right. Anything agency. Okay. Today's my first day back on the job as a lawyer. Putting this attorney's badge on again really makes it hit home. Boy, am I plump pumped. Even the trucy said, "Looking good, Daddy." Sophina, Apollo, what do you think of the old attorney's badge? Wow. Uh, this ship share aquarium show is great. I can't get enough of it. Um, Athena? I still can't believe they showed the, the SWAT a watch buckler spectacular on TV. Good thing I recorded this. Now, who's ready for another viewing? You've already watched it five times. Let's watch something else now. How can you even suggest such a thing? This show is therapeutic. Uh, boss here, asking you guys a question. What's so therapeutic about watching a killer whale? What? Don't you know anything? Animal assisted therapies and established psychiatric treatment. You're kidding. That kind of thing really exists. It's a real thing. I've been to the aquarium myself to try it, and it really helps. I still go there every now and then to further my psychology studies. The last time I went, I saw a dolphin and an orca swimming around together. It was so... Hey, uh, do you two think you could quit goofing off and do some work for a change? Work? But well, we've already cleaned the toilet. Twice. Each. Hey, wait a minute. Is that your badge, I see? Wow, congrats on getting your attorney's badge back, boss. Thanks. Starting today, I'm officially a lawyer again. Jeez, took him long enough to notice. Gee, Mr. Wright, with that badge on, you certainly look so capable. Ha ha ha. Um, thanks. Uh, it's not like I was some lazy bum, you know. Uh, but what made you suddenly so fired up to get your badge back anyway? Ah, well, I made a promise to a certain someone. An important promise. What could be so important? Anyway, we have three lawyers now, so we better start taking on lots of work. I'm all for that. Let's get this agency uh, hopping. Well, we have plenty of enthusiasm. All we need now are some clients. It's been eight years since I last wore this badge. I feel like a rookie all over again. And this just in. The owner of Ship Shape Aquarium, Captain Jack Shipley has been murdered. What? The suspect in the case is reportedly already in custody, inside the aquarium. Isn't that the aquarium we were just watching, Athena? It is. I can't believe it. A murder at Ship Shape Aquarium? But I love that place. We need to get to the bottom of this. R really? I guess I'm in luck then. 
What? I need Phoenix Wright to save my friend. Oh, that's the- she's the, um, actor from the show. Who- 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 who in the world is this? Um, are you a, a client? Wait. That costume. It looks just like- I've got it! You must work at Ship Shape Aquarium. That's right. You minnow it. Uh, I'm Sasha Bu Buckler. I perform like an a agile catfish in our pirate show. It'll bl blowfish your mind. Minnow? Blowfish? Those punts floundered a bit. Floundered a bit. <laughs> um, hee <laughs> hee, I figured out the client's identity. Chalk, uh, one up for an analytical psychology. My friend is under suspicion of murder, so I really need some help. That's why I've got to find this Phoenix Wright guy. Well, I'm Phoenix Wright. And this is Apollo Justice and Athena Sykes. They're lawyers, too. If there's anything you need, all you have to do is ask. The same, uh, uh, uh goes for me, too, Miss Buckler. Haha. -ha. Just call me Sasha, and I'll call you all by your first names, too, if that's alright. Phoenix, Apollo, Athena. You have to help me, please. Save my friend. Guess we'd better start by asking her more about her defense request. Talk, okay. Your defense request. Miss Buckler, Sasha, could you tell us more about what- why you need our help? My friend is suspected of murdering the captain of Ship Shape Aquarium. Captain? I thought the victim was the owner of the aquarium. Yeah, well, our aquarium has a pirate ship theme. That's why we call the owner our captain. We call the employees of crew, too. That's a pretty unusual aquarium you've got there. Anyway, one of the crew members, my friend, is being suspected of this captain's murder. They've already decided she's guilty. I think they're going to give her the death penalty. <laughs> what? What happened to due process? <laughs> but my friend is as sweet and gentle as a whale shark. She wouldn't hurt a guppy. I know there's no way she murdered anyone, but they won't believe me. But with a name like Wright, I figured uh, you'd be able to help me set them straight. Wait a minute. Don't tell me she picked uh, you all because of a bad pun. Ouch. I see my reputation doesn't uh, precede me. But seriously, my name can't be the real reason she's here. Why request me? What's the real reason you picked me, Sasha? Well, to be honest, I asked a whole slew of lawyers, but they all refused. They said stuff like, There's no merit to t taking your case, or I'm not sure I can help. They're, they're all as cruel as sharks, with hearts um, punnier than uh, white bait. Ooh, I can really feel Sasha's frustration. With nobody on her side, she must feel all alone. But helping people like her is the whole reason I became a lawyer in the first place. And then I heard about a lawyer named Phoenix Wright. They say he defends clients to the end, no matter how bleak the circumstances. Hmm, guess my reputation does precede me. Not sure how well deserved it is, though. I thought to myself, if anybody can save my friend, it's you, Phoenix. Why a tall order there for a man who just got his badge back? But I don't want to let Sasha down, or her friend. Let's help Mr. Wright, let's save her friend. That's just what I was thinking. Sasha, we'll accept your case. You will. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver, Lily. Well, no time to stand around and mullet over things. I want you to meet my friend right away. Come to Ship Shape Aquarium with me. You got it. And I'll go too. Sorry, but I need you to stay here and keep an eye on the office until Trucy gets back. You never know when a new client might stop by. How come I'm the one who has to stay behind? Thanks a million, Apollo. Well, ladies, let's move to the aquarium, shall we? Okay, uh... Yeah, let's get to the aquarium then. So, um, uh, why is this case not part of the main game? I'm a bit confused. It's part of Dual Destinies, but it's a special episode. Can somebody explain to me in the comments, like, what this case is specifically? Like, why is it not part of the main game, but it's part of Dual Destinies? I'm just curious on that. Hey, July 20, Ship Shape Aquarium, Aqua... Tunnel. Wow, that's actually a really cool aquarium. Um, it's it's interactive even too. It's moving around. Um, wow, this is gorgeous. Just like being under the sea. Yeah, this is the aqua tunnel. Our pride and joy. Yeah, I'm really glad you like it. I'm going to go ahead and fill the detective in on your arrival. Take a look around the tunnel and then come and meet me at the pool up ahead on the right. Hey boss, look at this cute little fish. Mm. I bet it would be delicious uh, grilled. Seriously? Is that really all you can think of? Well, I didn't get to eat lunch today. Oh, and here comes some grilled chicken. What? What is that? Is that a penguin? 
What the hell? Ah, chicken, it's a penguin. Come here, little cutie. Uh. Cree? What? Wait, what? What? What, 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 what the hell is that? Um, it ignored me. Maybe it was hungry, too. Oh, look. It dropped something. Ah, it's an ad for the Swashbuckler Spectacular Show. That penguin had a whole bunch of these stuffed in its backpack. So it's passing out flyers, huh? How cute. A carrier penguin. Distribute flyers? We could use one of those for our office. A Swashbuckler flyer. An advertisement showing an orca dressed up like a pirate. It was dropped by a penguin. I'll tell you, though, I do really like the theme for this aquarium, like the music that's playing in the background. And you know what the music is kind of similar to? The music is kind of similar to Mega Man Legends 2. Um, uh, in Mega Man Legends 2, there's an underwater ruin, and it kind of reminds me a lot of it. And I'm really curious whether they, they kind of mix the themes with that. Um, well, can't keep the client waiting. We better get going. Yeah, you're right. Time to roll up our sleeves. Okay. Is this the scene of the murder? July 20, Ship sh Shape Aquarium. Huh? I don't see Sasha. Ah! Are you two the lawyers Miss Buckler mentioned? Detective Fulbright, are you the lead detective on this case? That's right. As long as evil exists in this world, there will be no rest for me. And who is your sea urchin-like friend uh, there? I don't believe we've met. Is he talking about me? I'm the defendant's lawyer, Phoenix Wright. Well, I'm Detective Bobby Fulbright. People don't usually uh, get to see us in this area. It's now only open now because of the investigation. You two are pretty lucky to get this peek behind the scenes of an aquarium. Lucky, right. This guy is even louder than Apollo. So where is the suspect being questioned? And where is Miss Buckler? Here I be me, Buckos. Okay, eek! Ah, shiver me timbers, there be one of the dread pirate, uh, Nostash's scruff, uh, scurvy swabs. I beg your pardon, I'm not anyone swab, scurvy or otherwise. Uh, more shameless than a sea lion ye be trying, to make off of me best bucko. If you want to pick a fight with us, you'd, uh, best bring along an army o' great white sharks. Okay, the, uh, whale's talking to S Sasha, what's going on here? Let me introduce you. This is the friend I was telling you about. Her name is Aura Shipley. But she only responds to Orla, so that's what people call her. I'm her traitor. She's a suspect in the murder, but she never hurt anybody. What?! You've gotta be kidding me. You, like, the whale is accused of murder?! She's the suspect? Yeah, and thank goodness you came uh, before they put her down. I don't have any words. I I'm really grateful to the two of you. I just know you'll save Orla. What? Don't tell me you didn't even know who your client was. And Orca is the suspect? Our client is an Orca? Is this for real? Oh, did I forget to mention that? That's one very big oopsie. By the way, what was that uh, mustache er with that mustache earlier? Oh, this be part of me costume uh, for the Swashbuckler Spectacular. Would I be wearing the mustache? I'd be one of Captain Orla's Swashbucklers. A transformation as dramatic as a puffer fish, wouldn't you say? I don't think I would ever say that. It's a pirate-themed aquarium, so that's why Orla is wearing a pirate hat, right? Yup, she really loves wearing hats. She puts them all on all the time. But her fake mustache keeps falling off, so that's a problem. I, I see. Well, why don't we start with you telling us a little bit more about Orla. Orla the Orca. So you're really serious about me defending Orla? Of course I am. You're the only one who can do it, Phoenix. I heard you once question an animal during a trial, and that got your client off the hook. 
Yeah, um, uh, the thing about- that's- that's in the, um, case number... Case number three. Case number three in the original Phoenix Wright games, I remember that, uh, that it's, uh, it's Miles Edgeworth gets accused, and what happens is one of the people that's to testify is a parrot. Parrot is is brought in to testify. But here's the thing, um, when Ace Attorney had that case with the parrot, um, I don't know if they were making fun of a case that happened a long time ago, uh, but uh, there, there actually was a real-life case, a real-life murder case, where a parrot was actually the witness to the murder. I'm not joking, that, that actually did happen. Um, it's really sad what happened, but it's, uh, it's just r really ridiculous with just a parrot being a witness to the crime. But it did happen. Basically, um, uh, uh, when parrots repeat themselves, parrots don't understand what they're saying. They just repeat generally what people teach them or what they hear from other people. Uh, but anyways, uh, this parrot uh, witnessed the murder. So this guy was basically shot to death. And the parrot that was the guy's owner had basically witnessed it. And how did the parrot identify the killer? Well, the killer was apparently the guy's ex-girlfriend. So she was pissed off at him for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and she came over to the house and shot and killed him. And what happened is the parrot was repeating the guy's last words, which the guy's last words were basically saying his ex-girlfriend's name, saying, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me in his ex-girlfriend's name. And so that was actually brought in as testimony, or at least evidence, not technically testimony, but evidence into the trial. That was used, it was very controversial, um, but the police were able to actually use that as part of the case in order to arrest the ex-girlfriend and charge her with murder. But yeah, that's it, um, so a parent did actually help solve a case once. No way, you did that? I, uh, might have tried something like that at one point in my career. Oh, you're gonna have to tell me about this later, or I'll ask Apollo for all the juicy details. When I heard you didn't, uh, discriminate against animals, I knew you'd hear me out. I have to warn you, though, I don't know anything about orcas. I mean, they don't eat people, do they? Yikes, I think I made her mad. I won't have you talk that way in front of Orla. Orcas have feelings too, you know. Yeah, boss, they have emotions just like we do. Sorry, is anger the only feeling I inspire in, in women? Don't worry, she says she forgives you. Besides, orcas are very picky eaters. Orla here only eats fish. The captain went to feed Orla this morning, and then he was found dead in this very room. But why is the or orca being suspected? Could you tell us more about his death? about the murder. So the owner of the aquarium, Jack Shipley, was discovered murdered. Yeah, it was about 10.10 10 this morning, just after the aquarium opened. A visitor was, was viewing the orca um, pool from visitor's corridor and screamed. The orca pool is this tank here. Yeah, that's right. This pool is built so the guests can see into it from the corridor on the first floor. So they can see from the first floor and then the second floor. The security guard, guard and I heard the scream and came running into this pool room where we found the captain dead at the side of the pool in his swashbuckler costume. He was as big and tough as an old crocodile, the captain. I still can't believe that was the cause of death. Mr. Shipley was very important to you, wasn't he? Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sad uh, goldfish on you. Sad goldfish? Okay, time to snap her out of it. When it's showtime, it's time to smile. That's the... what the captain always said. By the way, do you know why exactly Orla is being accused of the crime? Why is Orla accused? Can you think of any reason why Orla would come under suspicion? The police think Orla went berserk during practice for the swashbuckler spectacular. But Orla would never do anything like that, right Orla? Ah, uh, just look at that uh, face. Isn't she adorable? The charges uh, just have to be false. I hate to break it to you, but the police don't usually base their decisions on cuteness. Um, and now here's the thing. When animals attack people at um, circuses or zoos, if they, like, attack the caretaker, um, if an animal attacks a, um, a person that, you know, if, if there's, like, an idiot who, like, jumps into, like, a pen with an animal, and the animal attacks the person, 
um, uh, it depends on the situation. Um, uh, the zoo is obviously going to defend the, um, uh, defend the person's life. You know, they're gonna try to stop the animal, but the question is what happens to the animal afterwards. Uh, if it's, like, an idiot that jumps into the pen, because that's happened before, idiots jump into, like, you know, zoo pens, and, uh, animals attack them. It depends on the situation. Sometimes the animal is allowed to stay, you know, back in the pen. Other times it's put down. But in a circus or a zoo, if an animal attacks a caretaker, if it, at if it attacks one of the circus people or attacks a caretaker at a zoo, if that happens, the animal is almost always put down afterwards. The reason the animal is put down is because it's too dangerous to keep it there. Because if it's attacked a caretaker um, that's with it, it can really attack anyone. So it's uh, it's just, it's too dangerous to keep it at that. That's that's why animals are put down. That's why the um, uh, in a. Uh, in, in 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 the original Ace Attorney games, there was one case, I forget the case name, but it was at a circus, and there was like a, a, a lion that bit this guy, um, and, then, uh, and bit into his head, and then another guy, his brother, tried to stop him, and the lion wasn't actually aggressive. Um, the reason the lion ended up biting the guy's head was because um, he was wearing a scarf that actually had um, pepper on it. A, a person that actually put pepper on that as a joke, and, uh, and the lion had sneezed. And it would and it accidentally bit him, but the lion had to be put down in that case afterwards. And something like that would very much happen is that uh, circus animals are put down afterwards if they attack somebody. And also for zoo is that because it's just too dangerous to keep them there. They've attacked somebody; they can do it again at that point. Uh, that's right. We base them on facts. Take a look at this. Photo of the victim, huh? He's got a wound on his head. Very, very perceptive. The victim and the orca were the only ones here. What's more, we couldn't find a weapon of any kind around. Photo of the body, a crime scene photo taken in the orca pool room. It's hard to make out the details of the body. But don't you have an autopsy report? Like, what's the cause of death? Uh, so what's the theory on how Orla supposedly killed the victim? They say orcas um, sometimes kill their prey by ramming into them underwater. We believe this orca did that just by pulling the victim into the 65-foot uh, pool, pool. And then ramming him while they were in the water. Hmm. Without any suspect besides Orla, this could be one tough case. Orca pool diagram. Cross-section view of the, the first and second floor sections of the orca pool. This pool is about 65 feet deep. Well, that, that's, that's really deep. Uh, 65 feet is really deep. Um, uh, I had a, um, uh, we had a, in my, um, parents' house, we had a six feet pool in the backyard, and, uh, that was, like, pretty much right up to my, uh, my head. Um, so it's like, um, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, so that, that 65 feet, I know that, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a big, big, big tank. No official autopsy has been ordered, but an orca attack makes sense. Why hasn't uh, one been ordered? Accidental death due to a failure to exercise proper oversight over an animal. The medical examiner said it wasn't a homicide, so we don't need an autopsy. No, 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 no. You always do an autopsy. You always, you always do one. Um, uh, is that, um, uh, that's, uh, you, you can't, you can't do something like that. You can't say, oh, it's an accidental death, so we're not going to do an autopsy. You have to always do an autopsy. An autopsy is basically the coroner's report on, uh, you know, how the vic victim died. You, you can't do that. So Orla's going to be put down without a proper investigation? That isn't fair. There's nothing short of police negligence, D Detective Fulbright. This, the incident wasn't determined a homicide, so there's nothing we can do, Miss Sykes. Even when there's accidental deaths, you still do autopsies. You do autopsies for pretty much everything. Ordinarily, the owner of the aquarium will be held responsible for the oversight failure. But the owner is the victim himself, so all we can do is hold the orca responsible. Phoenix, isn't there anything you can do? They're going to put Orla down. Sasha and Orla are depending on me. I want to do everything I can to help them. But how do I help an orca? Wait. Yes, I can do this. Um. Find the real killer. Defend Orla in co court. Set Orla free. <laughs> um. Uh. Defend Orla in court. I got my badge back now, so I know exactly what I have to do. I'll defend Orla in court. Huh? Even an orca deserves a fair trial. If the one responsible for Orla is dead, I'll take responsibility for her. 
You what? I guess doing crazy things just once in your career wasn't enough, huh? But what the heck, I'll take responsibility for her too. Are you two insane? This is a case of accidental death caused by an animal. It's not a murder case. With no evidence of foul play, this case will never go to court. Then let us investigate the crime scene. We can prove this was a murder. We might be able to take it to trial. And then Orla would certainly need the help of a few good lawyers. Hmm. I guess so. But who's ever heard of a trial for a killer whale? Just because it's never been done before doesn't mean we can't do it now. But... Hmm. Please, Detective Fulbright, for justice's sake. Oh, he said the magic. He said the magic word. The police have determined that an animal that has harmed a human should be put down. But I don't know for sure whether that was just a just decision. If your sense of justice compels you to take on the defense of this animal, then my sense of justice tells me to let this case be re-examined for possible merit. Y you mean it? Really? That's fantastic. You're uh, not such a bad guy after all, Detective Fulbright. Just remember, this case hasn't been officially recognized as a homicide yet. I'll get in touch with the prosecutor's office, but I'm not making any promises. Anyway, I better be off. So I kind of see why this case never made it into the main game. It's kind of ridiculous. You're defending a whale, uh, but uh, but still, I don't understand why it's a special episode. But it's 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 not like it's not a bad case. It's just it's just weird. That's just what I'll say about it. Um, uh, you two are our lifeboat. I'll be right here if you need me. Thanks. I've got a feeling we really need your help with this investigation. We're still not sure if it'll go to trial, but as Orla's lawyers, we'll do everything we can. To get this case in the court, we'll need a prosecutor to make an indictment. So we have to find enough evidence to prove it's a criminal case. There just has to be something that shows the culprit was somebody other than Orla. Detective hmm. Fulbright said there were no weapons in the area other than her. So we better look for something to prove him wrong. I better make a note of that so I don't forget. You sure are organized, boss. Maybe I should get a notebook of my own. I just like uh, to jot notes down on the case in the court record as I go along. We can use that sort of to-do list. Great idea. I'll add things too. And whenever we're stuck, we can just refer to the notes. Read my notes. I just opened the court record. R1. And then flip them with L1 and R1. There. Note jotted. Now let's investigate this crime scene. There has to be some evidence here we can use in court. Examining the crime scene from every angle is the key here. That's right. If we change our perspective, we might come across new evidence. Let's first see what we can find using L. Uh, okay. Alrighty. We can use left, right to change our perspectives. Or if there's a particular spot that's got your attention, get right up to it and look away. Like that outline of the body in the far right there. Of course, talking to everybody involved is one of the keys to a good investigation. Exactly. And if we present items to people, we might learn even more. Right. Now, it all boils down to, uh, furrow legwork. Well, let's get started. Okay. Okay, let's see. A setting sun. Sunsets always remind me how, uh, quickly the day goes by. Oh, boss. It's just a painted backdrop, you know? Down, Athena. Of course I know. I guess they use it for the swashbuckler spectacular. It looks handmade. Oh, I just got an idea. Why don't we make our own not guilty backdrop and present it to the judge when things aren't going our way? No, we put psychological pressure on the judge by hanging it behind the defendant. I almost want to see how the judge would respond to that. Orla's not going to notice me from here. I better move uh, around to the front. What's this? Oh look, there's a ball in the water. Is that another prop for the show? That's one of Orla's toys. She plays volleyball with it. It's usually in the bin. Guess I must have forgotten to put it away yesterday. Wow, wish I could play volleyball with Orla. You have as much fight in, in you as a mean old lobster. I like it. There aren't many people who want to be on the receiving end of Orla's fast ball. Her fast ball? Yeah, she likes to be naughty and slam the ball into things around the pool. You should hear the sound that ball makes when it crashes into stuff. Uh, uh well, maybe some other time. She suddenly went from fr frightening, uh, fighting lobster to reluctant hermit crab. Hey, there's a cannon in the shape of a shark. I'd love to try firing that thing. Are those cannonballs supposed to look like fish eggs or something? 
Hmm. But why fish eggs? Why not baby sharks? Think about how crazy it would be to have sharks uh, go flying through the air. Watch a thrilling life or death struggle as the uh, little tykes fighting uh, to stay alive uh, out of the water. Uh, I can see it now, the drama, the mayhem, the whirlwind of teeth. Tornado of sharks, not even Hollywood could conjure up something that insane. There's a piece of meat and a plastic hoop suspended from the ceiling? Talk about a classy decor. I guess Orla really likes meat. Who, who knew they um, they fed her such large chunks, though? Uh, oh, orcas are carnivores. You knew that, right? Of course, silly. I love meat, too. Protein is your body's basic building block, after all. But that meat is made out of rubber. I doubt Orla could really eat it, even if she wanted to. You mean to tell me she jumps all the way up there and doesn't get her reward? That poor girl, after all the, that effort. I don't think Orla is as dumb as you think she is. The doors are slightly open, and there are police officers standing guard outside. I guess they're watching to make sure we don't try any funny business. Well, now that you've said it, I suddenly feel the urge to do something. How about I su if I suddenly break out some squat exercises? That'll be pretty funny. Yeah, that might cause a few raised eyebrows in ways you don't want, Athena. What a mess. Was all this stuff knocked over when the victim struggled with his killer? It's possible, but it will be hard to prove. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Ah, uh, so this is where the body was found, huh? If they suspected Orla, maybe they found some evidence on, of, of an attack on the victim. Orla didn't attack the captain, she loved him. The captain rescued Orla when she was little, after she got uh, beached on the shore. He tried to release her into the ocean, but she kept coming back. I can tell Orla is sad about losing the captain, she's just not her usual ship herself. Orla must really love this aquarium and the captain. She's the only one around here big and strong enough to play with the big tough captain. Every day she made a point of headbutting him and stealing his hat. Yikes, I guess you weren't kidding when you said the captain was a really strong guy. Swords? Look at all uh, this stuff scattered everywhere. I see some swords. Wonder if they have anything to do with the case. They're made of rubber. I doubt they could be used as a weapon. But I still bet if someone got whipped with one, it would still sting quite a bit. Yeah, I guess it would. But I think I could stand. I think I could stand the pain. Yeah, good for you. Oh look, there's a blow up a dolphin and an anchor too. Mr. Wright, are you even listening to me? Stop looking at those toys. Yikes. Guess I've been caught red-faced. like the ladder goes all the way down to the bottom of the pool. But there's usually water in the pool, so it doesn't need to. So apparently the pool spans two uh, whole floors. Ordinarily, visitors only get to see what they can from the first floor. But they said on TV that they sometimes give behind-the-scenes tours. It sounds like that swashbuckler spectacular show you recorded is really coming in handy. What's this? Looks like the control panel for that crane apparatus. Uh, there sure are lots of buttons. When I see this many buttons, I start to get fidgety. I know what you mean. Uh, you start itching to push them, right? Nah, I start itching to make a psychological study of people who want to push buttons. Need I remind you that I'm your boss, not your uh, guinea pig. We haven't found any evidence yet, this isn't good. Too far away to get a good look. Better get a little closer first. Yikes! Look at that uh, huge octopus. It's missing an arm. Uh, must be a show prop. One of its legs is missing too. Yeah. Would it be exciting to take an huge en on a huge enemy like that? I'd like to give it a try myself. As a lawyer, that is. You know you have an insufficient number of limbs to out-object um, it, right? 
And the thing is, I think that octopus, I think that they actually grow their legs back. So if one of their legs actually gets cut off, I think that they actually grow back, which is kind of crazy. Um, is that show, show makeup above Orla's eyes? That's right. It's a starfish. Kind of makes her look like a punk rocking pirate, don't you think? Punk rock pirate killer whale grown. It's official. Um, uh, society's on the run to ruin. On the road to ruin. Well, I think Orla's one hot rockfish. Speaking of rocking, how do you get Orla to do what you want during the show? I give her signals with this uh, whistle. Oh, but I didn't hear anything just now. The sound's out of the range of human hearing. Just like a dog whistle. Orcas have better hearing than people do. They can even hear the whistle underwater. That's so cool. I wish I could give commands to Orla. Anybody can do that. All they'd have to do is learn the signals. Here, Afina, you can have one of your whist uh, one of our whistles. Consider a present. A whistle for issuing instructions to Orla. Or anyone can use one to command her as long as they know the right signals. I'm really curious if that's the murder that Orla actually did kill the captain, but it wasn't Orla's fault. That somebody had probably given her instructions to do something, which probably ended up hitting the captain. Uh, gee, thanks. As for the actual commands, I'm afraid I can't teach them to you. They're top secret. I guess that's about it. Uh, under different circumstances, I would have loved to see the Swashbuckler Spectacular. The three of us always performed the, the show together. Me, Orla, and the Captain. Today's show has been cancelled, but we could put on a little performance for you now. We be Captain Orla Swashbucklers, me buckos. We love to sail the seven seas. We've come to rout that man mangy blagger dread pirate Nustache. Last, there he be, Nustache himself. Prepare to feed the fish. Um, am I playing the role of Nustache? Well, Sasha has a stash, and you don't, so I guess so. Hit, hit him with your water cannon, Captain, and spare no quarter. Ah! Few, few, fweet, uh, fweet, 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 uh, fweet, 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 fweet. We swim through storms and waves, all because you see, grand treasure and adventures waiting, just for me. Wow, that was awesome. Your performance packed quite a wall. Yeah. I, for one, uh, feel like I took quite a beating. Sorry about that. Can't have a show without a bad guy role, right? But a singing orca, huh? Must have been tough to train her to do that. That's Orla's best trick. She can only sing one song, though. Well, she's still got one up uh, on a pianist who can't even play one song. Well, now that we've had a taste of the show, we better do some more investigating. Good idea. Let's get to the aqua tunnel. Aqua Tunnel. July 20, a uh, ship shape aquarium. Aqua Tunnel. So, you all done investigating the pool already? We had a, a good look around, but now we're moving on to other areas. How is the police investigation going? Did you, say, for example, find the other suspects by Orla? Ha 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 ha. Wouldn't that be fortunate for you if we did, but no, I'm afraid not. And even more unfortunate for you! I'm afraid we found decisive evidence of the Orca's guilt. What? Ple please tell us more, Detective. Proof the Orca did it. So what's the decisive evidence? Don't hold it out on us for now, Detective Fulbright. I'm very sorry, but I can't share classified information with the defense. Well, you kind of, I guess... You have to kind of tell, in a way, I guess... I guess... I mean, if you found the evidence right away, you don't have to tell the defendant the defense. But it's, uh, you, the defense has to know before the trial, though, what they're up against. 
Uh, I also love Detective Fulbright's theme. Especially not security footage that shows the moment the orca attacked the victim. Yup, I'm too personally see to it that this baby stays safe. It'll never leave my side. Excuse me, but there's a call for you, Detective. I'll be right there. Sorry, guys. You know how it is. Well, he never said that he wouldn't leave its side, I guess. Now, let's sneak a peek. This is a video of the murder? W w what the? What, what, what is the? What am I looking at exactly? Is this supposed to have be the moment Orla attacked the victim? Uh, security footage added to the court record. Video showing Orca pool from the visitor's corridor. The footage starts at the aquarium's 10 a.m. opening time. This little bit of footage doesn't prove anything. I agree. I believe in Orla and Sasha. Let's just continue with our investigation. Good idea. Huh? There's a sticker on the camera that says, Return to the pub boat danger. Guess somebody there manages the cameras. Let's check it out later. Sorry about that. Prosecutor Blackwell called to remind me to go feed Taka. So where were we? Oh, that's right. You two, uh, got any more questions for me? No, we're good. Thank you. For leaking all your info. I wonder, could I present him with this? Ha 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 ha! I have nothing to say about that. If your lawyers of any merit, you'll find the answers for yourselves. Well, we kind of already did, but... But what is... What am I watching here? I don't understand. This is... The, the whale rammed into, like, a rock? Is that the captain there? No, I don't think that's the captain. Pubbo Danger. Uh, July 20, Ship Shape Aquarium. Pubbo Danger. This looks like one of those hands-on exhibits. It has real air of danger, don't you think? Well, the banner does say the Pubbo Danger. Let's see. According to the d description, this room is... A pub where pirates gather, explore, and interact with sea creatures. Actually feel electricity of electric, um, eels, and feel, uh, and feed real piranhas. Experience the terror of the seas with these dangerous experiments. All of those sound le less like terror and more like, uh, torture to me. Um, I'd think- I'd think you two keep it down there, blue boy. I'm conducting an experiment. Do not disturb me, unless you wish to be zapped with an electric eel. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. That's her. That's her right there in the in the camera. M my apologies, ma'am. Wow, she seems intense. Excuse me, but who are you? Before you ask others, shouldn't you give your name first? Basic manners, young lady. Oh, oh yes, of course. My name is. Never mind. I will simply call you Yellow Girl. It's easier that way. I'm Norma De Plume. I'm very interested in Ship Shape Aquarium, and I'm a frequent visitor here. But, but I don't want to be Yellow Girl. You think I want to be called Blue Boy? Uh, let's see what, what she has to say. That's that's an Easter egg right there when he says, You think I want to be called Blue Boy? Mega Man was called Blue Boy uh, by a lot of the characters. Okay, talk. Norma the Plume. You say you're interested in the aquarium, but you don't uh, look like a staff member, hmm? Let's see. I've got it. You're someone completely unrelated to this aquarium. That's some deductive reasoning there, champ. I'm a visitor, a patron, a customer, a guest. And what might you be? I'm not a what? I'm a lawyer. Hey, that's what I was going to say. And I run a law office. Well, whatever you are, I don't have the slightest interest. Er, just who does she think she is, boss? A visitor, a patron, a customer, a guest, forever? Why you're here? I thought they closed the aquarium and weren't letting members of the public in. Oh, but I have special permission, you see. And what exactly, uh, why exactly is that, if I may ask? Uh, let me guess, you're the witness at the trial? Well, because the in insight... Thy heavens, I said too much. Incident, she... 
Oh, Cyclox. Oh, she's lying. She's withholding information. I remember this. Cyclox. Huh? Psych? Psychedelox? Um, like cyborg clocks? What? No, no. Cyclox. It's the power of this maggot, uh, Tama. It gives me the ability to see the secrets locked away in somebody's heart. If I can remove the locks, I can uncover their secrets. I didn't know you had a magi magical item like that. It looks like this lady knows something about what happened. I'll just use my mag Magatama and undo her Cyclox. Huh? I can't see the Cyclox anymore. Oh, the color of that stone looks different from before. That's funny. Maybe it's just out of juice. It, it, it can do that? Yeah, a certain girl I know poured her spiritual power into it for me. Without that power, I can't undo the Cyclox. That's Maya. No way! Hmm. Why do I have to keep quiet about it anyway? I've never been any good at keeping secrets. But I did promise after all, so I guess I had better keep my mouth shut. Who did you promise what to? No comment. Now go away. Uh, just when I thought we could find out more about the case. Let's go try to find some other way. I'm sure we'll find something. Present. Don't thrust that under my nose. I won't watch it. Are you usually pretty uh, photogenic, Miss Diplume? Of course I am. I've been compared to a movie star. It's a little wonder if my perfect ma uh, makeup and stylish figure wouldn't you agree. If you want me to agree, let's get a woman's opinion on this one. What? You're asking me? Well, uh, let's see. I do think you're very pretty, Miss Diplume. Hmm? I get the distinct impression your words are full of hidden meaning. Well, I wouldn't uh, say full so, uh, so much as full figure. Uh, F Fina, uh, I'd stop right there if I w were you. The Cyclox. I thought they closed the aquarium and weren't letting members of the public in. Oh, but I have special permission, you see. And why exactly is that, if I may ask? Well, because of this in- oh, I'm gonna skip this because we've already read this before. Lots some sp spiritual power to you can't help. Okay, I guess we'll have to think of some other other way. Shape aquarium, the murder of the owner. So, I I, I, I kind of missed this. I guess I never checked this out when I was playing the other cases in Dual Destinies. But I actually really appreciate that the game has this this brief in now because the most annoying thing about the investigations in the Ace Attorney what was always so annoying is trying to figure out what you had to do next because it was like you had to try to find something or like show present something to a character. Um, okay, look for a murder weapon. Okay. July 20, Ship Shape Aquarium, Aqua Tunnel. Hey, Detective Fulbright's gone. It looks like the police investigation is over, too. That's too bad. I was hoping to get a little more out of him. Yo, 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 ho, ho. Cleaner, nah, -uh, feeder. That's right. Oh, is this walkie kataki? Yo, girl, why are you hiding from me? I'm searching all around like this be a bad dream. That's somebody rapping? R rifle, yo, sometimes you make me so mad, but now that you're gone, I'm so sad. Yo, Rifle, just come back to me. We can be together and sing Cree, Cree, Cree. What's with this guy rapping and making strange bird sounds? I thought it was Walkie Kataki for a moment. Yikes, who, who, who's there? You didn't hear me rapping, did you? Yeah, well, maybe. Her. Look, uh, just do me a favor and pretend you didn't hear nothing. Fine by us. And who might you be? I'm Marlon Rhymes. I'm an animal keeper here. Yeah, so usually when this song like plays, you're kind of dealing with kind of stupid characters, like um, kind of annoying characters too. But the aquarium is already closed today. Um, at least, I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure, you don't sound too certain. Oh, are you new here or something? Wow, yeah, that's right. Pretty good guess. So who are you guys? I'm Phoenix Wright. And I'm Athena Sykes. We're lawyers and we're going to represent Orla. By taking her case to court and proving she's innocent. Uh, are, are you serious? You want to defend an orca in court? 
Oh, but if you're here for Orla, that must make you friends of Shasha. Sorry if I came across rude. Sounds like he's friends with Shasha. Sometimes when I'm by myself, I like to rap to pass the time. Especially when I'm around the animals I love. Oh, I love animals too. Especially marine creatures like dolphins. I like marine creatures too. But just the ones you can eat. Yeah, well, people who like animals are good people. That's what I always say. If there's anything I can do for you two, just say the word. I just started working here, though, so I don't know how much I can, I, help I can be. Mr. Rhyme seems pretty friendly. Yeah, friendly and agreeable. Marlin Rhymes. So what exactly did you hear as an animal keeper? Mainly I clean the place and feed the animals. Wiping all the- uh, this glass takes forever. I can imagine. This tunnel alone uh, must take most of the day. I also prep the food the animals eat. That's the hardest part of all. You mean, it's really difficult to get the hang of them? Nah, I mean I'm a vegetarian, so cutting fish and meat and stuff up creeps me out. Now there's something I never expected to hear from a pirate. About the murder. Do you know anything about the incident that took place this morning? Yeah, one of our guests saw what happened and started screaming. I came running, but by the time I got there, I couldn't see the orca or the captain. Speaking of the captain, what was he like? Like a strong captain who can turn a wild bunch of ruffians into some great pirates. He always treated us fairly and equally, human and vicious alike. The real deal, man. Hey, w w what are you crying for? I I'm not crying. It's just, I can feel your heart crying. That's all. G -g Girl, what you talking about? I'm not crying either. I guess I won't mention that, that his eyes are a puffier than a pair of a puffer fish. I bet Sasha and our vet, Dr. Crab, are even more upset by his death. Vet? This aquarium is a resident vet? Yeah. Yo, hold up. I haven't seen Dr. Crab this morning. Staff are supposed to stay put. The night shift has been out on duty since last night, but they won't let us go home. Sasha even had to get special permission to go out looking for a lawyer this morning. Hmm. We haven't seen anybody who looks like a vet. Rifle? Were you rapping something about looking for a weapon earlier? A rifle or something? Ah, uh, no. Not a weapon. Rifle is the name of one of our penguins. A penguin? Why would you, you name a penguin something like that? Ahoy, yo. Yo. Yo ho ho. Prep for the battle, uh, prep for the war. Little lady rifle, uh, gone even to scare. Uh, y'all think you can escape with your pride. Nuh uh, you just gonna be straight up denied. Yo, 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 yo ho ho. Yo, 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 yo ho ho. Anyway, that's what she likes, so we named her rifle. Okay, but why did you have to wrap it? That's just how I roll. That's just how I roll. Does rifle wear a backpack by any chance? Yeah, that's the one. So you've seen her, huh? She always running her she's always running away. She's such a good runner, we decided to put her to work delivering flyers. Do you really want a dangerous penguin like that running loose? Oh, uh, rifle's not dangerous. She only attacks people she doesn't like. <laughs> she only attacks people she doesn't like. When we ran into her earlier, she didn't attack us. She straight up ignored us, actually. Hey, I have an idea. If you're on a rifle again, would you mind feeding her for me? She didn't come back to the pool feeding uh, time like usual, so I've been looking for her. She loves the smell of fish, so she might come over to you if you have some. Oh, I would love to feed a penguin. That'd be okay, right, boss? I don't mind, as long as you carry the fish. Fish, um, a large quantity of fish for feeding rifle a penguin. Not surprisingly, it has a horrible fishy smell. Ugh, it's, it smells so fishy. Really? What a shocker. Oh yeah, besides rifle, I've been looking for a small fry too. Small fry? That another penguin? Nah, she's a friend I made. A high school girl. She went off looking for rifles somewhere and hasn't been back. Is she your girlfriend? What? Nah, no way. Sasha is, is, is the one I... So you like Miss Buckler, do you? Well, I, I really respect her, you know. We have different tastes in music, but I admire the way she lives her life. It's not like I like her, it's more complicated than that. I'm pretty sure that, that all adds up to like. He tries to put on a brave face. 
but I think the captain's death is hitting her hardest of all. After all, it was her human show um, partner that got killed by that orca. So you think Orla really did it? Well, I can understand how Sasha feels. But she's the only one of us who doesn't uh, think the orca did it. Oh, I see. I guess it isn't easy to believe in somebody who ca can't even speak up for herself. Anyway, let me know if you see Rifle or Small Fry, okay? Small Fry said she was gonna go check the orca pool. Maybe we'll head back there then. Huh? There's something on the left side of the pool that wasn't here before. Oh yeah, that. It looks like an electronic sword. What the? Hey, you're back. Hi, Sasha. What's with this strange sword here? Oh, that's a walkie-talkie. It's probably Rifle's. R Rifle can use a walkie-talkie? She's always running away, so we attached a walkie-talkie to her. If we can hear the sounds around her, we can usually guess where she is. But not if she dropped the walkie-talkie on the floor. Every member of the crew has one too, so we can communicate back and forth. We can even use them to broadcast the specific parts of the aquarium. Cool, huh? Walkie-talkie. Issued to all aquarium staff for communication. It can apparently also be used to broadcast inside the aquarium. Well, if Rifle's walkie-talkie is here, then Rifle might still be here too. Rifle, come out, uh, come out wherever you are. Whoa. Tweet? Are you okay? Okay, you have to be careful around pools or you might slip right in. I'm more afraid of my heart jumping right out. Hey, who's that riding on Orla? Isn't that Rifle? Hey, you're right. Uh, come here, Rifle. Great. Ha. Ah, she ignored me again. Why doesn't that a penguin like me? Er. Now you've scared Rifle away with all that yelling. Well, I'm not giving up. I'll make that penguin like me if it's the last thing I do. Hey! Get back here, you little pipsqueak! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rifle. But at least you seem alright. <laughs> That's Pearl. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a long time. She's from the original games. Hey! It's... It's... Pearls! Oh, Mr. Nick, I haven't seen you in ages. Could Pearls be the small fry Miss Rhymes was talking about? Congratulations on your return to lawyering. I've been thinking about stopping by your office for a visit to congratulate you. So she's a really big character in the original um, Ace Attorney games. This is Pearl Faye. I call her Pearls. She may dress a little funny, but that's because she's a spirit medium. A real prodigy of great power at that. I've known her since she was little, and she sometimes comes to the office to visit. She's just a little older than Trucy, so she's been like a big sister to her. I guess everyone here knows Mr. Nick, then. He's such a nice guy, don't you think? Is she trying to be my big sister, too, now? Pearl Faye. What are you doing here, Pearls? My summer camp is here on a field trip. I've never been to such a big aquarium before, so I was really looking forward to it. But then, that incident happened. And the police just finished uh, questioning me. Oh, I see. Um, uh, Mr. Nick, who is that lady next to you? I'm Athena Sykes. I'm a new lawyer at the Right Anything Agency. Oh, how do you do? My name is Pearl Fay. My cousin and my friends call me Pearly. Pearly, it is then. Nice to meet you. So, how did the two of you meet? Well, you know how I used to travel to Europe to study their legal systems, Pearls. I met Athena on one of those trips. So tell me more about how the two of you met in Europe. Hey, I thought I was supposed to be asking the questions here. A long time ago, Mr. Wright helped me out of a difficult jam. That's when I started thinking about becoming a lawyer like him. So you're like her mentor, huh, M Mr. Nick? Yeah, something like that, I guess. Mr. Wright is the whole reason I am who I am today. He was the one who told me my knowledge of psychology could help people in court. Gee, Mr. Nick, it looks like you've become a real adult since the last time I saw you. 
I've always been an adult the entire time I've known you, Pearls. Well, would you look at that? Rifle loves you. She sure does seem to be attracted to Pearls. Heh <laughs> I'm so glad uh, she likes me. Penguins are so adorable, aren't they? I even brought myself a little penguin calendar here at the aquarium gift shop. I have it hanging for my bag already. Oh, how cute. A calendar in the shape of a penguin. My calendar's real hit with all our female visitors. I even have one myself. But the rest of the staff thinks it's too cutesy. I guess it doesn't really fit the whole, um, uh, rough and tumble pirate image very well. But, hmm. Why does this calendar smell kind of like fish? W what do you mean, Mr. Nick? Please don't be rude. Uh oh. I've got pearls mad. Penguin shaped calendar at the Pearl's Body Aquarium. Smells fishy for some reason. So you were looking for rifle, too. That's right. I was trying to help Miss Marlin, the animal keeper. Give me a rifle, come on. She went towards Orla instead. Er, why can't I get rifle to like me? Maybe you should quit chasing after her with that skull of yours. Mr. Nick, how could you speak to a lady so rudely? Uh oh, I've got pearls mad. Again. Why don't you try to get Rifle to take some food from you? So, she's a major character also in the Ace Attorney anime. Um, and in, in the Ace Attorney anime, she's, um, <laughs> uh, uh, she always does that with her arm. A lot of times, and she's, um, uh, she gets pretty pissed off at uh, Phoenix easily. Oh, great, uh, idea. And I have just a thing to present her, present her to. Present... Oh, the fish. Rifle, I have a present for you. To, uh, chalk filled with love. Here you go. Hey, Orla ate my love-filled fish. At least it looks like she enjoyed it, though. Yeah, this is the weirdest case I've seen so far. Fweet fweet. I think Orla and I just had a bonding moment. Friendship blossoming with the exchange of some food. Oh, isn't it mo moving, Mr. Nick? I think moving might be going a bit far. Anyway, how did you get Rifle to come to you, um, so easily, Pearls? I heard Rifle was attracted to the smell of fish. M miss Mr. Nick, are you saying I smell like fish? Uh, maybe it's a little, yes. Hmm. I guess I need to change my clothes. That's odd. I wonder why Pearl smells like she's holding a bucket of fish. Hmm. Orla doesn't usually want to eat at th this time of day, and we've even uh, been giving her more than normal at her regular meals times lately. Orla's feeding habits. Is there something wrong with Orla's feeding habits lately? Yeah, something's weird. The new guy Marlin uh, feeds all the other animals besides Orla, but the captain and I, her trainer, are responsible for feeding Orla. It was the captain's turn to feed Orla this morning. But Orla keeps coming to me and signaling she's still hungry. She wants my fish uh, chock filled with love. How long are you going to keep saying that? She sure is excited to make a new friend. But I don't think the captain would have forgotten to feed Orla. Orla and Rifle. Rifle and that big creature there certainly seem to love each other. Uh, this is Orla the or Orca. Rifle and, and, and Orla are best friends. They belong together like a clownfish in a sea uh, anemone. Care to phrase that in a way uh, us non-biology majors can understand? Oh, so this orca is the suspect. I read in a book once that orcas eat penguins. Don't you worry about that. Orla's here real gentle and she never eats anything but fish. Fui, fui, fui. She's an old sweetheart, as a matter of fact. She even tolerates Rifle picking on her. It's true, she does seem very gentle. She hardly seems like a killer whale. As lawyers, we have to do everything we can to save this beautiful, gentle creature. Wow, you're going to defend her in court. She's quite the defendant, isn't she? She's the biggest defendant we've ever had. Oh, Pearls, I have a big favor to ask. 
What is it, Mr. Nick? It's about my Magatama. Its spiritual power seems to have vanished. Oh, that Magatama brings back memories. I remember pouring my spiritual power into it. That was so many years ago. I guess that's why it's almost out now. There you go, Mr. Nick. It should be fine now. Thank you, Pearls. Now I can break Cyclops again. Heh <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Well, I think I'll go find Mr. Marlin now. I have to bring Rifle to him. Pearly sure seems right at home at this aquarium. Hmm, you're right. But didn't she say this was her first time here? Apparently, that girl was uh, in the staff corridor early this morning. That's why the detective was questioning her. What was Pearls doing in the staff corridor? I don't know. I thought she was Marlin's friend or something. The staff corridor, huh? Something about that doesn't sit well with me. Uh, Cross-section view of the first and second floors of the Orca Pool. Pearls apparently entered the staff corridor, but why was she there? Well, Pearl Pearls is definitely not a killer. Um, she would never... Um, uh, but it doesn't make sense why she would be there. Um, uh, well, if it bothers you, why don't you just ask her about it? Yeah, good idea. Let's go catch up with her. July 20, ship's, uh, shape, uh, aquarium. Looks like Mr. Rhymes and Pearls are talking. Ahoy, a base small fry was so clutch with the assist. Rhymes and rifle reunion, a tale ended in bliss. Now Animal Keeper Rhymes ain't gonna get cut. Mad prop, small fry, this case is now shut. Yo, 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 ho. Ho. Hehe, <laughs> it was my pleasure. See you again sometime, Rifle. Okay, let's go, Rifle. Uh, see ya, small fry. Oh, Mr. Nick, I, I didn't see you there. Relation to Rhymes. Hey, Pearly, you and Mr. Rhymes seem to be really good friends. Oh, could you tell us more about your relationship? Oh, well, I... She has a Cyclock, too? Um, Pearls? Why do I see a Cyclock? Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Nick. But I really shouldn't talk about it. Hmm. I don't really feel right about digging into Pearl's affairs. But she was here at the aquarium at the time of the incident. Whatever she's hiding could help us in court. Sorry, Pearls, but I'll have to use my Magatava triangle on you. Take that! So the Cyclox, Cyclox appear when somebody is, is, when either A, they're lying to you, or B, they're hiding something. A Cyclox, a lock on a person's heart that only I can see. The deeper the secret is hidden, the more locks there will be. Pearls only has one lock, so I should be able to undo it fairly easily. But if I make a mistake, I'll be locked in a loop and won't be able to move forward. Okay, time to give it a try. Relation to Rhymes. Pearls, you have to tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. Relationship? There is no relationship between Mr. Marlin and me. The, um, we're just vis a visitor to the aquarium and an animal keeper of the aquarium, that's all. And I'll tell you something, the Cyclock music, the music that plays during this is always really creepy. Like, does, that, does anybody else agree with me? Like, I always thought this music is really creepy. Um. But there are areas where ordinary visitors to the aquarium don't get to go. You were here before the incident occurred, weren't you? Staff corridor. Yes, that's right. But how did you know? Someone told me you were there. I got confused and went the wrong way. I didn't know it was a corridor, just for the staff. But that's all it was, Mr. Nick. I didn't have anything to do with Mr. Marlin. Sounds reasonable. I guess I'd better move on to my next topic. Actually, there's something else I've been wondering about, Pearls. Why do you smell like fish? The fish! What makes you think I smell like fish? Well, there are certain, uh, there's a certain someone who convinced me um, uh, it wasn't my imagination. Oh. Uh, it's Athena, too? Yeah. Or, wait, um... Take that! Is there something you want to say about that person? Uh-oh, I guess not. No, it was Athena, um... Pearls, I want you to be honest with me. 
Why do you smell like fish? F fish, what makes you think I smell like fish? Take that! No, it was the um the, the pirate girl. I, I'm making a mistake here. Um Take that! Wait, it wasn't her? Oh, the 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 penguin? It was the penguin then. Um Take that! Rifle. She's apparently very attracted to the smell of fish. Rifle didn't want anything to do with Athena, even though she had a bunch of fish. So why then was Rifle so attracted to you, Pearls? Er, I don't know. Hmm. Looks like she's still not ready to talk about it. You had an object with you that smelled fishy too. In fact, I think this has something to do with your secret. The calendar, right. Take that! The fishy smelling calendar has something to do with your secret, doesn't it, Pearls? <laughs> but, uh, ah! Hi. I, I can't lie to you, Mr. Nick. I'll tell you about me and Mr. Marlin and about the calendar. Ooh, it was only one lock, but it sure took some work. Relation to Rhymes. Please tell me about your relationship with Mr. Rhymes. I became distracted by the gift shop almost as soon as we got to the aquarium. Before I knew it, everyone else moved on and I got lost. I was so embarrassed to be lost at my age. Oh, Pearls, I know big crowded places are hard for you. I sort of panicked and went down the wrong court. Door. <coughs> I ended up in the food prep room, and that's where I met Mr. Marlin. I really st uh, startled him when I called out to him. He jumped to me so much, he startled me too. He jumped so much, he startled me too, and I lost my balance and fell down. Oh, Mr. Nick, I spilled so much fish all over the floor. I guess that explains why you smell a fishy, pardon the pun. Yes, and my calendar fell off my bag and got buried in all the fish too. But it doesn't explain why Pearls wanted to keep it a secret. Why did you hide it? Why did you want to hide your meeting with Mr. Rhymes? Well, I didn't want him to get in trouble over feed, uh, sanitation regulations because of me. And Mr. Marlin said he didn't want anyone to know he was in the food prep room. Huh? Why not? Why was he- what was he doing in there? Before I spoke to him, he was staring at a calendar. Because of me, he dropped his calendar too. We had to search for it among the fish. Wait a minute. This calendar of yours is already ha has writing in it. It does, but I didn't write anything in it yet. There's something written here under uh, today's date. Meet the captain at the orca pool at 7 a.m. Maybe my calendar and Mr. Marlin's got mixed up. Pearls, about what time did you run into Mr. Rhymes? I think it was about 10.15 when he had the info desk and announced that I was lost. So I must have at first gone to prep room at about 10.10. 10, 10. 10, 10 that's, the, that's the time the murder happened, where, where, the, where the body was found at least. I see. Do you mind if I hang on to this calendar for a while? It might be the clue to the victim's movements before he was killed. Alright, but be sure to give it back to Mr. Marlin later, okay? Uh, it was accidentally switched to Pearl's calendar around 10, 10 a.m. Good. Now maybe I'm ready to remove Miss Plume's Cyclox too. Okay, let's go talk to Mr. Plume. July 20 Ship Shape Aquarium. Pubbo Danger. You people again. You're becoming quite the nuisance. If that vet veterinarian won't come out, then I might just have to give up and leave. Veterinarian? Is that the Dr. Crab Mr. Mr. Rhymes talking about? You are correct. He likes to shut himself up in that back room there and won't come out. But I don't think he's ever it. Uh, he's e even in there today, so I'm about ready to go home. He sure seems to know a lot about the working of this aquarium. Maybe there's a little something about the incident this morning, too. Mr. Wright, this is no time to be standing there thinking to yourself. It's time to put your psycho delicate clock skills to the work and uncover her secret. It's locks. That's the psych lock, Athena. Psych lock. Take that! He has two psych locks, which is going to be a bit harder to break. But let's see. Why you're here. Mr. Plume, I want you to tell me a secret you're hiding. I'll do nothing of the sort. It would mean breaking my promise. 
I don't know uh, who made you break the promise to, but you will tell me. You're not an aquarium employee, and yet, um, here you are after the place is closed. That must mean you're connected to the incident involving the owner somehow. Oh, -ho -ho. I didn't know anything about any incident involving the owner. No, I think you do. I have a piece of evidence here that suggests you do know something. The video. Take that! According to Detective Fulbright, this shows the orc attacking the victim. And the person in this footage is wearing an outfit just like yours, Mr. Plume. Oh, I suppose there is no hiding this bombshell figure, is there? Yes, it is I. Okay, one Cyclop left. And I think I can guess why you're here at the aquarium. You aren't simply a visitor to the aquarium. What you really are is a police investigator, a witness to a murder. You are a visitor who also happens to be a witness to the death of the owner, Jack Shipley. That is cor- Oh, I want to say it, but I promised the police. It's not good for you to keep things inside, you know. I'm sure you'll feel much better once you get it all out. I- 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 I, I give up. I'll tell you every- everything. If she wanted to tell me this badly, why couldn't she have done so from the top? I think anyone would agree that I held it for as long as I could. But I couldn't be expected to withstand this commoner's um, badgering any longer. Commoner? Who are you calling a commoner? Commoner is like something that aristocrats, like really wealthy elites, would call people back in the day. People don't really call anybody that today, um, uh, but like commoner is something that, that people, aristocrats, like the really powerful wealthy elite used to call people, and it's not a nice word. Um, you know, uh, if you call somebody a commoner, it's basically like calling them like a peasant. It's like you're saying, oh, you're below me, if you're called a commoner. Um, uh, please calm yourself down, Mr. Plume, and that's top-class badgering to you. You are correct. I witnessed the killer whale's crime with my own eyes. You got a problem with that, blue boy? Boss, Mr. Plume's anger is so powerful. Even I feel like I'm about to explode. You have to do something. Quick. Please don't explode on me. Why you're here. Could you start with telling me what you saw? I witnessed the very moment the killer will attack the victim. I told the police what I saw as well. I'm the sort of person who simply can't rest until the truth is known. Mm. But with Mr. Plume's statement and this footage point to Orla's guilt. Mm. Pardon me, but you seem pretty pleased that you witnessed this incident. What? Please? Shame on you. Are you implying that I'm happy about an innocent man's death? No, 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 of course not. I just don't get the sense that you were, uh, afraid of Orla. It's more like you were interested in her. Are you? You know, I wasn't sure, but I was thinking that maybe... Are you perhaps one of my fans? Is that how you knew? That I'm the, the non-fiction writer Norma the Plume? Oh, that Norma the Plume. So, big fan, huh? No, I've never even heard of her. Well, now that you figured me out, there's no sense in trying to hide who I am, I suppose. Talking to fans is part of a writer's duty, after all. Ho oh. ho! But, but I'm not a fan, I tell you. Nonfiction writer. So what exactly have you written, Mr. Plume? Oh my, um, you mean to say you truly aren't familiar with my work? I write the truth. I take great pride in my craft, you know. I've been gathering information from Orla the Killer Whale for a year now. I've been very worried about Orla's violent tendencies. And today my concern has proven to be well justified. Orla isn't violent, she's a sweet and gentle soul. Oh, the moment you let your guard down with that killer whale. Chomp! Ship Shape Aquarium has always uh, denied the killer whale's violent streak. But it has been rumored to attack people. But rumors are just rumors, they aren't necessarily true. Yes, I realize that, but I only write the truth. That is why I questioned the owner directly. But he refused to allow my research, and he even had the audacity to say to me, You're nothing but a, a nuisance coming here day after day. Don't ever come back again. Sounds like her research was a bit too much to take. But then, how did you get in here if you've been blacklisted? I have my methods. Oh, ho oh, ho. This lady is a shame is shameless. So, um, it's not looking good for her. Um, she's she admitted to trespassing and uh after she was banned from the property. Because here's the thing, um, here, here's what people a lot of people don't understand is businesses are private properties. 
including a zoo, aquarium, whoever the person owns it. And is that even though these are businesses, they're open to the public, you know, public can go in, you know, view them, shop in them, um, such forth. Uh, but if the owner of a business bans you from the property, says don't come back here again, and you come back there without their permission, you are trespassing and you can be arrested for that. So she basically admitted to committing a crime right here. Orla's violent streak. Uh, we won't let you speak badly of Orla. We're going to defend her. And yeah, and she's, she's an unreliable witness because she already admitted to trespassing. For all we know, she could have something to do with the case. I'm only stating what I saw with my very own eyes. I came to the aquarium today to observe the killer whale. But on my way to the that thing's tank, I heard its cries. You can hear Orla from the visitor's corridor. There are speakers there in the corridor up near the ceiling. Apparently that speaker is there so visitors can hear the killer whale sounds. In any case, as I approached the killer whale's tank, I heard its cries. And when I arrived, I saw something terrifying. What did you see? The killer whale stealing the swashbuckler spectacular hat the owner was wearing. Uh, and then, the moment uh, it bit him and shook him mercilessly to death with his jaws. Well, what? Orla bit the owner to death? Injustice we trust. So I take it Mr. Plumas has finished telling you what she saw. The, the Detective Fulbright, I guess you've already heard it too. Yup. We took her statement earlier. As you heard, I'm afraid that accidental death is really the only thing it could be. Yes, and a dangerous creature like that cannot be allowed to harm anyone ever again. But she's not dangerous. Sorry, but the prosecution's office said the case didn't have enough merit to go to trial. There was one prosecutor, though, who expressed an interest in the case. Really? Then could we have that prosecutor take a look at the investigation reports? Unfortunately, I doubt even he'd take action of evidence of a homicide. Look, I understand how you feel, Mr. Lawyer, but maybe you shouldn't give up on this one. Maybe you should give up on this one. I, I, uh, not a chance. We'll just re-examine the crime scene and strengthen our case. Well, if that's your version of justice, I won't stop you. We won't rest until we find proof it wasn't accidental de de death detective. You you'll see. Let's go, Mr. Wright. Time to check out the crime scene one more time. July 20. Ship Shape Aquarium. All right, then. Let's start the re-examination. Pronto. I'm going to check out that mess in the back one more time. Fina, wait! No running! Are, are you okay? It didn't look like she tripped, but... Oh, I slipped. What is she standing on? Huh? Orla? What, what is it, girl? Uh, Athena, are you alright? Uh, she crashed in that stuff behind her. Oh, I tried to get out of the way, but all I did was slip and fall. Again. That was a pretty amazing wipeout. Are you hurt? I'm okay. But why did Orla spike that ball at me? After all, the fish I gave her, I thought she liked me. Maybe she thought you were the main Andre. Very funny, boss. Haha, <laughs> in any case, let's give the ball back to Orla. Look at where she was standing. Huh? Looks like everything got shifted around What? What? when I fell on it. Hey, you're right. There are things now that we couldn't see before. Like another ball. I guess Orla really likes them. Look, there's something new by the outline of the body, too. We better take a look around. this what's this oh he said the same thing too. a coin M mr. Wright there's blood on it you're right but it's dried do you think it could be the victims and what was it doing all the way over here in the first place hmm not sure but now that we found blood outside the pool it just might help us prove that there's more to this case than just accidental death hey you're right Orla certainly can't leave the pool after all Bloodstained coin. A single coin seems to have fallen by the side of the orca pool. Speaking of coins, take a look at this. There are a few coins around the body here, too. 
The right boss. But where did they go? They aren't here anymore. You don't think somebody picked them up, do you? That'd be weird. And where she was standing. Hey, look at this mark on the floor. What do you suppose it is? That's where we stand when we want to play volleyball with Orla. Volleyball, huh? Yeah, if we stand there, she'll spike the ball right at us. So when Orla spiked the ball at me earlier, that was one of her tricks. It doesn't mean she hates me. Nah, she wanted to play with you. She loves volleyball. She used to play with the captain all the time. Ah, Sasha looks so sad. Okay, time to snap out of it. Uh, there's no time to be all dejected and mo mopey like a uh, blo blobfish. That's right. Time to put on a smile and say and stay strong, right? What's a blobfish? Or do I want to know? What's his figure? Oh no, that child is hurt. What? Uh, call an ambulance. Hey, it's just a dummy. It is. Oh, I mean, of course it is. It was just testing your response to emergency. Is that... Is that bite marks in it? Well, I guess we just found out that you don't bluff well under pressure. Er, I guess I'll just have to keep practicing then. I wonder what the dummy is for anyways. Oh, that? We use it to train Orla. It's smaller than a human, but it does the job. Some of our tricks can be pretty dangerous, so Orla practices them on the dummy first. Forget the tricks, those bite marks look pretty dangerous. Hey Sasha, would you happen to know anything about this coin? Oh, I guess I missed one. I just finished cleaning up the rest of them. You picked up all the coins already? That's right. After the police finished their investigation, they gave me the go-ahead. I haven't found them yet. All yet, though. I'm still missing a few. Well, if they aren't besides the pool, maybe they're in the pool. Let's go to the ladder over there and take a peek at the bottom of the pool, boss. Oh yeah, they are here. Look, I think I see something on the bottom of the pool. Eh, I knew it. We want me to go down and check. You, you can't jump in dressed like that. You'll drown under the weight of your clothes. No, I won't. I'm a pretty good swimmer. You'll, you know. Be that as it may, the pool's really deep. I doubt you can hold your breath that long. Maybe Sasha can. Boo. Phoenix, look at all these coins I found at the bottom. Thanks, Sasha. But there really were more of them down there, huh? We seem to be finding them all over. Wonder how many there are altogether. Including the ones I put away, there are 300 of them. They're for the show. Hmm. Sounds like they're, they'd be heavy. About 7 pounds, I'd say. A little lighter than a string fish. Well, I better go put these coins away where they belong. So 7 pounds of coins scattered around the scene. One of them with blood on it. It had to relate it to the case. Wonder how the blood got on that one on that one coin. Wait a minute. Could it be? Hmm. Remember how Detective Fulbright said that they couldn't find a murder weapon? Well what if these coins were the weapon? No, really? Could could that actually be? How could a little coin kill a grown man? Wait a second. Could it it could actually be the murder weapon? Well, one coin by itself isn't much of a fret, but... 300 coins together could definitely be used as a weapon. All you have to do is... Um... Put them in a bag. If you put 7 pounds of coins in a bag and swung it at someone... It would make the pretty formidable blunt instrument, wouldn't it? It would explain how blood got on this coin. Oh, I get it, if that bag of coins is the weapon, then we could use it to prove Orla's innocent. But the thing is, that doesn't make much sense, because how would the coins get bloody then? Unless it would go through the bag. Bloodstained coin. Discovered besides the orca pool, there are 300 coins weighing 7 pounds total. This makes it likely a murder weapon. Well, I don't see anything resembling a coin bag around here. Maybe the killer took it with them. Yeah, it would certainly make it look like Orla did it if they did. You know what I think, Mr. Wright? The bloody coin alone should be enough to prove this might have been a murder. I agree. It shows the possibility of a human killer rather than Orla. Yes, this is just what we needed. Let's go show this coin to Detective Fulbright and Mr. Plume right away. Good idea. Let's hope they're still at the Pavo Danger.
Oh, you're back. So did you find anything? Of course he didn't. Remember, even if you don't succeed, it's the effort you make that is important. Is he trying to constantly... Let's show them the evidence we found, the one that points to a human culprit. Right, because we won't let Orla be put down. Please take a look at this bloodstained coin. Eek! The cease and desist at once. What kind of man shows a lady blood? Eric, he doesn't have to get so worked up. What are you terrorizing this lady with? Come on now, let's see. We found this coin besides the orca pool. We did see a large number of coins beside the pool, but not one with blood on it. We just learned that there's 300 of these, weighing 7 pounds in total. Now, what do you suppose would happen if a person was assaulted with that many coins? What? So you're saying the coins might have been used like some kind of blunt weapon? If the blood belongs to the victim, then yes, it's entirely possible. Hmm. But I wouldn't call it decisive proof that the real culprit was human. Y you wouldn't, why not? Because there'd have to be some... Because there'd have to be something to put the coins in to make them into a weapon. Without that something, it's just not going to be enough to pass murder. But I will say that your theory does seem to uh, warrant further investigation. Uh, I'll call the prosecutor's office and ask to reinvestigate from a possible criminal state angle. You will. Thank you very much. I really hope Detective Fulbright can convince them. Hmm. You won't believe the answer I got. When I explained you, uh, your passion for the case and the police investigation, they said that the prosecution mentioned earlier would be willing to take this to court. Really? So does that mean a new suspect has emerged? No, I'm afraid not. To be frank, Prosecutor Blackwell says he just wants to prove the Orca's guilt in court. What? It's Prosecutor Blackwell wants to prosecute Orla? That's fine, uh, that's fine, detective. Thanks for raging this for us. Well, I must say, you're taking this rather calmly. Defending Orla in court was my idea, uh, from the start. And I'll do whatever it takes to save her. Hmm. In that case, I'll do whatever I can as well to see that justice is served. Ms. Plume, will you be a witness for the prosecution? A trial for a killer whale? I, I never heard of such a reckless, uh, recklessness before in my life. But I will reveal the truth about this killer whale, and then write all about it. Ha ha ha! Sounds like a plan now, if you'll just come along with me. So, she has a motive. She's a non-fiction writer, she was trespassing, and she could be making up the entire story just to basically create a book. We have to prepare for tomorrow, and I'll have to arrange for an autopsy. Oh, ho ho. I look forward to tomorrow. Until then, Blue Lawyer and Yellow Fan. I am not a fan. Well, at least we managed to get the case go to go to trial. But how in the world do we defend an orca in court anyway? To be honest, I'm not really sure myself. Plus, Mr. Plume said Orla bit the victim. This trial sure um, isn't going to be easy. But I love a challenge. Ah, uh, then we ought to be just fine. Guess I should go over that uh, swashbuckler spectacular you were watching this morning. Yeah, we can have a formal viewing back at the office. There's nothing decisive against Orla in the security tape, but that doesn't mean much. I'll just have to find a more concrete way to save Orla at tomorrow's trial or else. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna wrap up here. Uh, this is, like I said, the weirdest case I've seen so far. A killer whale. Um, and you're, you know, defending the killer whale. Uh, but I guess we'll see where this goes. Um, but I'm curious why this case is not part of the main game itself. But thank you guys for telling me in the comments that this is the next case chronologically. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, drop a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.